Hi everyone. Let us discuss this example. So here we have a power series summation C n x raised to n. They have given it has radius of convergence R. After that they have given two more series. See the first series can be easily obtained by differentiating this power series. See C n is constant as it is. Derivative of x raised to n is n x raised to n minus 1. And the second power series can be easily obtained by integrating the given power series cn as it is integration of x raised to n is x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1. So they have given such two series and we have to prove that they are having same radius of convergence r. So let us start with the given information. We have see the power series we have what is the series summation n running from 0 to infinity c n x raised to n with radius of convergence okay so with radius of convergence r so we are familiar with the formula of radius of convergence so therefore the formula says r is equal to 1 upon alpha where where the value of alpha can be calculated in this way limit n tends to infinity supremum of mod c n raised to 1 by n so by formula of radius of convergence i got this one so let us focus on these two series so we will start with this power series let me write we have summation n running from 1 to infinity n c n x raised to n minus 1 so we have to prove that it has radius of convergence r in the same way we can find its radius of convergence so let us find such alpha first okay so let us consider consider i am going to find a value of alpha like this limit n tends to infinity supremum of mod cn cn means what it's a coefficient or you can say the multiple of x raised to n what is multiple of x raised to n minus 1 here n cn so i suppose to write n cn and raised to 1 by n but what is power of x n minus 1 so i should write 1 upon n minus 1 so in this way we calculate the value of alpha there let us simplify it so this is equal to limit n tends to infinity supremum of n c n c i'm going to do one adjustment so that is raised to 1 by n into n upon n minus 1 getting so n n will get cancelled in power and we will have simply 1 by n minus 1 so this is equal to limit n tends to infinity supremum of see same thing we can express in this way n c n raised to 1 by n whole raised to n upon n minus 1 okay so this is equal to limit n tends to infinity supremum of see what will i do i will take separate separate mod but n is a natural number cannot be negative so no need to take mod so simply we can write n raised to i am taking separate power raised to 1 by n mod c n raised to 1 by n getting here what will i do i am going to divide numerator and denominator by n so let me show you that rough work here so i am dividing numerator by n as well as i am dividing denominator by n so n n will get cancelled 1 here also we can divide separately so n n cancel 1 minus 1 by n so the power will be by doing all these calculations in mind i am directly writing 1 upon 1 minus 1 by n okay so in this way we are calculating alpha but see there is no more space to write so make a screenshot of it then we will go further so we are going to find its value here okay so is equal to is equal to so let me simply tell you that few important things that is n raised to 1 by n always tends to 1 as n tends to infinity getting and and here we have 1 upon 1 minus 1 by n. so we know that as n tends to infinity 1 by n will go to 0 so 1 upon 1 minus 0 which is equal to 1 as n tends to infinity that means if you apply the limit its value will be 1 and its value will be also 1 so therefore it is equal to i am continuing here limit n tends to infinity supremum of okay supremum of so as we have mentioned here its value will be 1 as n tends to infinity 
and value of this power that will be also 1. So what is left there? See this is 1, this is 1. So here mod Cn raised to 1 by n. See this is nothing but our alpha. Getting this is nothing but our alpha. We had written that thing here. By given information we had got a same alpha. So this is equal to alpha. So in this way we calculated its value. Then radius of convergence radius of convergence is equal to so we have got its value alpha and radius of convergence is reciprocal of this one or the reciprocal of this limit so this is 1 by alpha but see 1 by alpha is nothing but r we had written that thing here okay you can go back in this video and you can check the value of 1 upon alpha is r so this is equal to r so therefore we proved we are finding the radius of convergence of this power series but finally we got that is nothing but r. So therefore radius of convergence radius of convergence of that power series summation n c n x raised to n minus 1 n running from 1 to infinity is r. So in this way we proved if r is the radius of convergence of this power series then the power series obtained by differentiating original power series having a same radius of convergence r. So now it's time to find radius of convergence of second power series. Just make a screenshot of it then I will go further. So now we have this second power series and we have to find its radius of convergence right. Uh, see to find the radius of convergence we need to calculate the value of one limit okay we have to find the value of limit first and then we, it's reciprocal that is nothing but radius of convergence so that limit is let me write here limit n tends to infinity supremum of mod cn cn means actually the coefficient multiple of x raised to n plus 1 is cn upon n plus 1 raised to what is the power of x n plus 1 so I should write 1 upon n plus 1 so let us find its value limit n tends to infinity supremum of okay so actually we have numerator denominator so we can take separate separate powers as well as our denominator is n plus 1 where n is a natural number okay so that natural number cannot be negative okay so no need to apply mod to the denominator so let me write cn mod cn raised to 1 by n plus 1 okay divided by n plus 1 raised to 1 by n plus 1 okay so we have this space let us use so this is equal to limit n tends to infinity supremum of okay so we have infinity here supremum of See here I am going to do one adjustment that is mod cn raised to 1 by n into n upon n plus 1. Simply I multiplied numerator and denominator by n divided by n plus 1 raised to 1 by n plus 1. Okay, So this is equal to limit n tends to infinity supremum of mod cn raised to 1 by n. See the same thing can be expressed in this way raised to n upon n plus 1 okay by rules of indices power raised to power that means actually uh, we have a product of powers there denominator is n plus 1 raised to 1 by n plus 1 okay so here n by n plus 1 n by n plus 1 if you divide numerator and denominator by n 1 upon 1 plus 1 by n and see we have already seen it goes to 1 as n tends to infinity. So let me mention those reasons here. Those reasons are n upon n plus 1 tends to 1 and this n plus 1 raised to 1 upon n plus 1 that also goes to 1 as n tends to infinity. That means if you apply the limit their values will be 1. So let me mention so this is equal to limit n tends to infinity supremum mod cn raised to 1 by n this power will be 1 if you apply the limit and this denominator also will be 1 if you apply the limit so that means just this term is remaining and we know that its value is alpha so this is equal to alpha 
so therefore alpha that means already we by given information we have got right, its value alpha okay pre, uh, you can go back in this video and you can check so let us find the radius of convergence so therefore radius of convergence so radius of convergence is basically reciprocal of this limit the value of limit is alpha so it's 1 by alpha but we know that 1 by alpha is nothing but r so therefore radius of convergence radius of convergence of that power series summation and running from 0 to infinity cn x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 okay so this power series has radius of convergence r so in this way we proved if the original power series has radius of convergence r then the series obtained by integrating it having a same radius of convergence r okay so in this way we have proved this part make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you